And he goes, I think it's about time to get a central line. And I go, wait, what? long time no see even though I guess it hasn't been that long it's been like six days so um, I'm not gonna go into detail about why I disappeared for a week um, but I did and I deleted well I like disabled my account and now I'm back um, so I kind of want to just kind of give you guys an update since the last I spoken to you guys um, so you know I had my colonoscopy and everything looked clear but they already had knew that um, but they wanted to kind of go more into detail with my biopsies and kind of see if I had anything other than well not other than just anything other uh, of course that turns on and that's really loud um, so I got the results back fully and I do not have um, microscopic uh, colitis or regular colitis or Crohn's or anything so the next step is but it's not gonna be till May or June where I'm going to take the smart pill and swallow it which it looks like a pill but it's actually a camera and then it just kind of goes and feeds through your intestines and all and then if that's Ne uh, positive for something then we'll fix it and if it's negative then we're just going to assume that it was an IBS flare-up which is completely fine um, and then what else what else what else so I started to feel a little bit better um, booty wise and then I started feeling sick again and then yesterday um, I was also feeling a little iffy today it's been decently okay if you hear snoring freckles is like knocked out cold as she wakes up <laughs> so that's what's going on with that um i had so many not interviews um like doctor's appointments over the phone this like past week and a half especially in the last few days and some really exciting news and no it's not my hair it's like 12 o'clock at night by the way and I'm going to upload this tonight as well. Um, so I spoken to a cardiologist. Now he's not necessarily my cardiologist, but he's a cardiologist. I met him once, and because I met him once, he felt that he needed to meet with me. So we did it over the phone, and he was the cardiologist who either helped create or did create the tilt table test. And so, I think last I, last time I spoke to you guys about him, he basically just wanted me to start using Pedialyte because it has no sugar in it or less sugar than like, um, like Powerade and Gatorade. And then he wanted me to start salt tablets. But then I told him that I already had salt tablets and they don't work. So, nonetheless, it's been like eight months and we spoke. Everything went well. I'm like, you know, I'm I'm in a bare flat, a bare flat. A bad flare-up for the past like month actually a few weeks for the booty area but over a month because I had like a really high heart rate and blood pressure issues for a while and I told him that currently at you know today I've been doing decently fine in the past week it's been getting better iffy you know he goes all right well you know he wants to start me on beta blockers as well as the mitogen that I'm already on and as like the conversation was like at the very very end um, it came up that I um, have been doing um, infusions for a year and a half as of yesterday the 8th and um, and he asked how like the infusions were going and not like medication infusions but my veins and I'm like I'm not gonna lie like, my veins are they're shot um, I was like I have a photo of it bloody everywhere from last week how I had like you know a dozen not a dozen it was like 10 or 8 or whatever of like um, um, needles going in with several different nurses coming in and out of the house for days at a time trying to get a line it didn't work and he goes I think it's about time to get a central line and I go wait what so 
that's the new plan. I am getting a central line. I don't know if that means I'm getting a port or a Hickman or a pick line. He didn't even bring it up, but the way he was speaking was as if I'm getting a port. So we're going to figure out tomorrow. Um, if he can do it within his clinic, then we can do it soon. And if it's gotta be outside of the clinic, then it's gotta be at a hospital, like a different hospital, which means I would have to wait till like May or June, maybe even July, depending on COVID. So, um, so I just heard that today. So that was the news, very, sh very in shock. Um, again, it was a, it's been a year and a half as of yesterday. like a mess but you know I wasn't gonna plan on going uh, making any kind of vlog until like last minute and it's gonna be a very short vlog because I just I wanted to just kind of get a video out there because I have something planned for tomorrow and um yeah so, uh, but yeah, that's basically the only update I have is that my booty area looks fine thus far. Um, I've had many appointments over the phone with several doctors and it looks like I am getting a central line put in at some point. And, um, I think that's it. I, I feel like there's more, but there isn't. So anyway, that's my update for you guys. I know it was very boring, but I just kind of want to get something out there for you guys. But I will see you guys tomorrow with what I have planned, which I'm hoping works well. And, uh, yeah. Peace.